Hello, my name is Clark Haskins, and I'm with the SAGE North America Center of Excellence. This is part of a series of videos on how to implement preventive maintenance in SAGE X3. This video will cover the setup of the maintenance task product with a brief overview of component products. Preventive maintenance utilizes standard X3 functionality. The process flow of preventive maintenance is similar to the X3 work order process. Maintenance to be scheduled is an inquiry that provides visibility of maintenance tasks to be performed. Similar to a work order, the job ticket will show planned tasks and their labor times, as well as planned components. Now, job ticket tracking is used to track time and issue components, just like production tracking. And job ticket close is used to close and calculate the costs of the job ticket. Cost finalization will post the journal entries from the job ticket transaction. Now, what is a maintenance task product? In preventive maintenance, the product to be used as what we know as the parent product will be referred to as the maintenance task product. The maintenance task product allows for the costs of the components, the cost of labor, and any overhead to be rolled up to an expense account. The maintenance task product will have a list of components as well as a maintenance task, similar to a routing. Component lists and maintenance tasks are reviewed in another video. Now it's recommended that a new product category be created for maintenance task products. Let's review the product category setup. Here we have the product category PMT preventive maintenance task. First, the maintenance, ta maintenance task product needs to be not stock managed so as not to receive quantities in stock. On the management tab, we see the setting for stock management is set to not managed. On the units of measure tab, a stock unit's required. I use a unit of measure that's most applicable to the task. Let's take a look at the Accounts and Costs tab. A new accounting code for this product category for the maintenance task products required. Accounting code PM task has been recreated. Let's tunnel into it. I want to draw your attention to line 12, stock. Normally, this points to an inventory account. For preventive maintenance, the account for the maintenance task has been assigned. I'm just going to show you this account. This is, you see, this is our maintenance task expense account. Backing out of here. In the product category, analytical dimensions can be added if required. For costing, the recommended valuation method is standard. The standard cost update is set to calculated, so the standard cost can be rolled up from the cost of the components on the component list and the labor costs and overhead from the maintenance task. Now, once the product category is created, we can create a product record. We create the product record using the newly created product category PMT for PM task. The values from the product category will default into the product. See that it's not stock managed. And the other information will show as well. The PM task analytical dimensions will be set. Once that's created, we can drill to the product site record.
and add the stock site and create here as well. And the cost of calculated and valuation method will show. For components of a maintenance task, there are no specific requirements for the setup of the product. Components for a maintenance task are typically stock managed and will use standard X3 functionality like replenishment, stock management, allocation and issue rules, location management, and lot or serial management if required. Separate product categories may be needed for components depending on the customer's requirements. In summary, the key points for setup of a maintenance task product are stock management is set to not stock managed, set the stock unit as applicable, create a new accounting code for the preventive maintenance, add an expense account for maintenance tasks if one does not exist, and that add that expense account on line 12 stock of the accounting code. For the valuation method, standard cost is suggested and the standard cost update should be set to calculated. Thank you for watching this video on implementing preventive maintenance in Sage X3. Look for additional videos in the series.